we're making an Italian style pot roast. So we have a four pound beautiful piece of chuck roast. I know, right? And this is the color that we're going for. Color equals flavor in food. So I always start the pot between medium and medium high with a little olive oil. Season the meat, salt and pepper liberally on both sides right before you put it in the pot. The trick though is to get the chill off of this. So we, I leave mine out for at least one hour before it goes into the pot. Take the chill off, it's a huge piece of meat. We don't wanna seize it and get it all tight and curled up. We want that to be nice, room temperature, pat it completely dry. Just before you season it, get the oil hot in a large Dutch oven. Get your oven hot to 325 Fahrenheit. And then we added to the drippings, this is the same pot we browned the meat in. To the drippings, we added the guanciale or pancetta first, a little bit of pork, right? And it picked up the, the drippings of the meat. And then we added our finely chopped carrot, celery, and onion. We're adding juniper also to our pot roast. And I have some of the, the green tops from the carrots. We have a huge bundle of sage a few large fresh bay leaves here, tied together with a big bundle of rosemary. All goes in there. Give that a good stir. I add at least one full bulb of garlic crushed into the pot. And then uh, the two cups of red wine. So about a half a bottle. And we're gonna add a couple cups of bone stock, beef bone stock. And we're going to add a can of crushed, diced, any hand crushed, doesn't matter, Italian tomatoes. 28 ounces of tomato. And if you like, you can put in a tiny bit of red pepper and then... Oh my God. Uh-huh. That's like the... Uh... It looks like the Flintstone, the beginning of the Flintstones. <laughs> with the thing and the car falls over. Honey, could you yes. put this on this, I'll open this, okay. and you take this guy, the mopping, yep. okay, and put him in the oven? Put him in the oven. After about two hours at 325, our four pound slab, that big beautiful pot roast that's working, should be about tender. So we had to finagle the oven, <laughs> bring the one we had working in the back out, but hopefully. We're in good shape with this guy. Thank you, sweetheart. You're welcome. Uh, can you pop that off? You've got the mopping. You've got the thingies. The you got the thingy. Yeah. Woo. So at this point, at this point, we want him to rest again. So we're going to, remember how we let him rest an hour before he went in and before we browned him? And will you hold that over closer, right? It's literally falling apart at this point. So we put that in there and let it hang out a bit. You're good, you're good. Hand me the garbage bulb in. And you fish out the bay, rosemary, sage, carrot tops. And now I'm just gonna thicken up the sauce a bit by turning the stove back on and letting that reduce. I'm just breaking up the giant chunks of our beautiful Italian style pot roast. Here, you wanna break this up on and I can start sure. ladling the sauce over. Just start breaking that into big chunks. And we're gonna take our red wine and tomato sauce and pour it down over the top. And you can pass a little extra of the Italian gravy at the table.